Ballyhoo Bay. Written by Judy Sierra, illustrated by Derek Anderson, and we have permission from Simon & Schuster to read to you today. Every Saturday morning on Ballyhoo Beach, Mirabella the artist had classes to teach. She taught etching and sketching to grannies and kids, and undersea sculpture to swordfish and squids. All the beach was abuzz with fantastic creations. The seagulls' collages were trash art sensations. Pelicans painted, crabs dabbled in clay, and seals made mobiles out of paper mache. Otters drew silly self portraits with pencils, and sea squirts dyed t shirts by spitting on stencils. Mirabella was planning a special event on the first day of June in an elegant tent. The Ballyhoo Art Fair was going to take place, along with the Recycled Art Cycle Race, for creatures with feathers and flippers and fins where everyone enters and everyone wins. But the last day of May dawned gloomy and gray. Chilly winds whipped the waters of Ballyhoo Bay, and bales of barbed wire appeared on the sand with a signpost announcing a dastardly plan. Penthouse apartments for nine zillion each, a parking garage where they once where there once was a beach, a crystal casino as high as a cloud. P.S. No children or wildlife allowed. Meet us this evening at Ballyhoo Hall to vote for a plan that enriches us all. Then a great wave of sorrow swept over the crowd. Not one of them dared speak their feelings aloud. Clams shut their shells, seagulls folded their wings, and they all headed homeward to pack up their things. Mirabella cried, Nonsense! We won't move away. This ridiculous notion is only Plan A. Let's create Plan B and save Ballyhoo Bay. They rolled out the elegant tent and unzipped it. Mirabella drew lines and the hermit crabs snipped it. And everyone painted the places they loved, the sea and the sand and the sky up above. Then they hoisted their banners toward Ballyhoo Hall. Some flew there, some fluttered, and some had to crawl. Some skipped and some scuttled, some slid on their fannies. Some rode in big tanks pulled by kids and their grannies. The builders were flustered, they gasped, how absurd. A child cannot vote or a fish or a bird. We will never allow this to happen, they sputtered. The town council huddled, they murmured, they muttered. The kids in a chorus cried, look at plan B, which is friendly and fun and fantastic and free. It's an idea so simple, you all shout, gee whiz, why didn't we leave the beach just as it is? Then the grannies declared, we think that Ballyhoo Bay is for everyone, not just for those who can pay. Now whose heart is so shriveled, they'd vote for Plan A. Ahem, <clears throat> coughed the mayor. The council will note that Plan A does not seem to get even one vote. So who votes for Plan B? Upward shot every paw, every tentacle, hand, wing, antenna, and claw. Even the builder guys had to say yes. So they drove to the beach and they cleaned up their mess. And the art fair next day was a smashing success. There was wet art and dry art and high in the sky art. And folks stood in line just to trade art and buy art. The art cycles raced through the surf and the dunes, some on wheels, some on wings, some on puffy pontoons. Otters drew everyone's portraits as prizes, and sea squirts sold t-shirts in all shapes and sizes. Mirabella gazed out through the surf and the spray as the sun set resplendent on Ballyhoo Bay. Truth is beauty, she said, and they both saved the day. And that's how things end on Ballyhoo Bay.